Green means you are in the upper 40%. This product resulted in the most increase in clicks. What most will be looking for is this area right here. Ad spend is the number one drain on e-commerce profits. Pricey tools are yet another. So what if there was a tool that helped you optimize ad spend and it was free? Drop a like on this video, sub to the channel. Let's begin with Benchmarker 2.0. Benchmarker by Perpetua is first going to provide you a summary of your advertising performance. The first selection you can make is between month over month changes and benchmarks. It is best to start with month over month changes. How are your ads performing in this month relative to the prior month? At the top, you will see your best performing metric and the worst. The click through rate overall is 0.21% and we can see the month over month change of 0% or ACOS up 17.85% from the prior month. But what about relative to all your other competitors? That is why Perpetua has included the benchmarks tab. Clicking this, you now have a scale. The dot represents where you sit on the benchmarking scale. Anything in the red, this would mean that you sit within the lowest 40% of your competitors. Anything in the yellow means you are within the middle 20% and anything in the green means you are in the upper 40% of your competitors. If you're in the red, this is low performance, yellow, medium performance and green, good performance. If we turn month over month changes on once again and shift our focus to the performance funnel, this is going to break down in much more detail how your Amazon ads are performing. Firstly, the overall number of impressions. An impression is any time a customer has seen your ad. Does not mean they've clicked on it, but it was visible to a customer. So this is usually a very big number. We can also see the month over month change here. But this is where the benchmark becomes very valuable because now we can also look at click through rate. And click through rate simply means when you get impressions, when your ad is in front of customers, how often, how many of those customers who saw your ad actually clicked on it. 0.21% of all impressions actually clicked. Impressions times that click through rate is going to give us the number of clicks. Now that we know how many people clicked onto our listing, we can also look at conversion rate. Conversion rate is of all those people who clicked onto your listing, they are now actually viewing your listing. How many of them chose to purchase your product? How many of those clicks turned into actual orders? In this case, 8.88%. Clicks being all the customers on our listing times that conversion rate is gonna give us our orders. Our conversion rate has slightly decreased and our orders have slightly increased from the prior month. But now if we know our total number of clicks and we know our total number of orders, we can also look at cost per click and average order value. Cost per click. This is on average how much you're paying Amazon per click of your ads. On average here, we are spending $1.10, slightly up from the prior month. But if we times all the clicks by the cost per click, then we have our total ad spend. Average order value. This is the average value of your orders. In this case, 5424. We can then take the total number of orders times the average order value and we get our total ad sales. And once we have the total ad spend and the total ad sales, we can actually deduce our ACOS, which is our advertising cost of sales or ACOS for short. And ACOS is ad spend as a percentage of all ad sales. So it's saying out of all ad sales, all the revenue driven from ads, that big amount of money, how much as a percentage of that big amount are we spending on the ads in order to drive all of that revenue? Of course, you wanna be spending a smaller percentage of all that revenue. And that's why you'll often hear that people are aiming for a lower ACOS. We can simply take total ad spend divided by total ad sales times 100 and we get our ACOS. In this case, 22.84%. And this is significantly up from the prior month. So now you have looked at your performance from the prior month, but how are you performing relative to your competitors? We can scroll to the top and click benchmarks. Looking at the same performance funnel, we now see the month over month change is gone, but 
If we hover over the colored icon here, you can see the benchmark and the dot represents where you sit amongst your competitors. Click through rate, we are certainly underperforming here. We are within the red, which is the lowest 40% of our competitors. So we need to improve making customers want to click through to our listing from our ads. Then conversion rate. Here we're in the upper 40% of our competitors because we're in the green zone. This is where we're performing well. It means once customers are on our listing, they are choosing to purchase. Cost per click, again, we are underperforming. We may want to optimize the targets of our campaigns or the actual bids for those targets. And ACOS. Here we're in the middle 20% and ACOS is a result of everything else that we have looked at here. In this case, our underperformance in click through rate and cost per click could be the result of our ACOS performance. The second big new release from Perpetua is actually within the benchmarker, but this is the performance matrix. This shows you your top 10 products performance in terms of advertising over the past month. The 10 products are numbered 1 through 10 on the side panel and that same number for the associated product can be found within this four quadrant diagram. The horizontal axis shows ad spend variation. That is, how is this product performing in terms of ad spend? this month compared to last month. If it has decreased, you can see it moves down to minus 50%. If it's about the same, it's going to be near 0%. And if ad spend has increased, it's going to move up towards plus 50%. So anything on the right hand side of the diagram, the ad spend for that product has increased. The vertical axis, this shows ad sales variation. That is, has this product's ad sales increased or decreased this month relative to last month. If ad sales for a product have remained stable, they are going to be near this middle horizontal line. Any of the products which have made more ad sales are going to be in the upper section of this diagram above this middle horizontal. And any products which have made less in ad sales are going to be below this horizontal line. So generally, what most will be looking for is this area right here. And that's because that's where ad sales have increased the most up to plus 50%. But it's also where ad spend has come down the most to minus 50%. So this is the most ideal position generally. Anything in the dark green box is good performance. Anything in the dark red is poor performance. That's because in the dark red zone, this is where ad spends increased the most but it's also where ad sales have come down the most. So this is the least desirable position. The lower left or upper right quadrants show mixed performance, and that's because lower left, for example, this is going to show a massive decrease in ad spend, but also a massive decrease in ad sales. The upper right is a polar opposite. This is where your ad sales have gone up drastically. That's very good. But your ad spend has also gone up drastically. Lastly on the diagram, the size of the circle for that product actually indicates the amount of ad spend for that product specifically. Smaller circles indicate those products you're spending less on overall, while the biggest circles are the products you're spending most on. The minimum and maximum is also indicated for you here. For example, the max is 10,920. That means for the biggest circle, which is clearly product number one, we are spending 10,920. You can then look at each product individually in much more detail. For example, product one is actually very important for us. This is where we're spending the most. And while ad sales have gone up vertically, our ad spend has also increased drastically. We're all the way at plus 50%. So perhaps we want to know why that ad spend has increased so much. Well, we can come over to the left panel and simply find number one, which is doormat, and click on it to reveal all these other metrics. It de-highlights all the other products, so you know you are specifically looking at this one. Here we can see our ACOS is actually up 58%, and then we can look at why. There's two potential areas here, conversion rate. It is minus 43% compared to last month. And this means once customers are on this listing, they are not choosing to buy as much as they did last month. 
And then we can go look at did we make adjustments on the listing to the images, bullet points, etc. Or we can look at cost per click. This is also up almost 11%. Have we changed something in terms of the targets within our campaign or our bids on those targets? So in this way, you can look at your top 10 products performance in terms of ads month over month, then dig into them and address those that are most negatively impacting your overall performance or look at what you can replicate with your best performing. That brings us to the next section, which is impact drivers. This gives you a really quick snapshot of the products impacting your most critical key performance indicators or KPIs. Those KPIs include things like your ad spend, but you can also select from this drop down. Let's use ad spend as an example. Once again, this compares your performance from last month to this month. You can see a note of how much your ad spend actually changed from the last month, but you can then look at specific products impacting this KPI most, and you can look at it in three different ways, waterfall, table, and tree map. I'm going to use table to start. Additionally, you can also filter these results. For example, perhaps you only want to see products with ad spend that is greater than $2,000 apply, but I'm going to remove that for now. You can then look at each of your products, what the ad spend is this month. How is that relative to last month? For doormat, we're up 500% in terms of ad spend from last month. Most importantly, you can look at impact. How did this impact our change in ad spend for our account overall? How did this individual product affect that? And the impact was 67%. So in this way, if you know that your ad spend overall is going up significantly and you need to address that, you can use impact drivers to actually find the product most responsible for that. Scrolling across, you can also see all these different KPIs for each product. I've just shown you this for ad spend, but we could also do the same for clicks to find the products getting the most clicks or the least. Now that we've looked at the table format, you can also view the same data, but in waterfall form. The largest waterfalls show those with the biggest impact. Green is going to indicate that this KPI has increased, whereas red shows this KPI has decreased. Hovering over any of them shows you the specific product that that waterfall is related to. It shows you the number of clicks. The green upwards arrow here shows we've seen an increase in clicks. That is in click terms next to that, also percentage terms relative to last month. In the green highlighted box, the impact of this specific product on your account account overall for this KPI. So this product resulted in the most increasing clicks on our account. Whereas on the red side, we see the same data, but negative. So this specific product had the largest negative impact on our account overall for clicks. Lastly, you can also look at a tree map, which is really just a different graphical version of the waterfall. Largest blocks, largest impact, but that's exactly how you can use the impact driver section to focus on specific KPIs and then the specific products impacting those KPIs the most. That brings us to the next section in Benchmarker, which is product analysis. This section works very similarly to the very top section where we're looking at the accounts overall. However, here we're looking at individual products. First, looking at our month over month changes, and you can look at that performance across all of these top line KPIs. For example, the baby basket, we can look at the ACOS and it is up almost 49% from last month. Now we want a lower ACOS generally, but we can look into why that ACOS increase has occurred by looking at conversion rate while we're down almost 30%. And so if we wanted to then optimize the ACOS for baby basket, we would look very closely at what's impacting conversion rate. Turning the benchmarks on, we can then hover over any of our KPIs here. ACOS, in terms of this product, we are in the lowest 40% of competitors. And this is also a very good way for you to actually set targets, realistic targets, knowing what the benchmark is in that area. Or we could look at the more positive areas, such as on the camping chair. Here you can see we're in the top 40% of sellers. And so this section is really like a product oriented view of the prior summary section that we looked at at the top. Scrolling down from here, you can see your account structure. 
and this shows you the number of keywords, ASINs, campaigns within your account. Below that, we find ad formats, and this shows you your distribution between sponsored products, the lighter purple, and sponsored brands, the darker purple. You can also compare that with the category benchmark. Right below that, you can look at your sponsored product's performance, for example, ACOS. The category benchmark, 25%. The dot represents where we sit relative to that. So our ACoS is relatively good. Conversion rate, here we're performing very well, 8.8%, where the category benchmark's just 5.8. Cost per click, here we're performing poorly. Category benchmark, 82 cents, but we are paying $1.10 on average for a click of our ads. And click-through rate, our worst performing area, right at the bottom of the lower 40% of our competitors. Lastly, they have a take action section where you can chat with someone from Perpetua or you can actually begin automating your keywords and bids with their platform. As I do cover in this video up here, if you're interested in taking a look at that. The best part about Benchmark is that you can do all of this analysis for free. And you can do that at the link at the pinned comment right below. A like is always appreciated. Please do sub to the channel if you want to see more content like this. But thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.